Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see me unbox and give my first impressions review of the Compa facial device, then just keep on watching. Compa Health kindly sent me their smacking device to try out. You will know if you watched my last makeup first impressions video that just because a brand sent me a product to try, it doesn't mean I will talk favorably about it. In fact, I might give it an absolutely scathing review if I do not like it. I will link that video down below if you would like to see me tear apart the NYX Jumbo eye pencils. I did not like them. We're going to see if I like this one. This is an interesting device because it contains a lot of technology in one facial device. So it contains electromagnetic stimulation, EMS, it's shown to there, which I believe is contained in the New Face Trinity devices. I don't own one of them. My brother does. I've tried that one. The electro micro current that it sends through your face, those devices cost hundreds of pounds. It also contains radio frequency, which are in the collagen wave facials that you'll find in beauty salons, that type of technology. I'm not sure if this is as strong as you'd get, but those facials cost hundreds of pounds. It also contains LED, which is in my Dr. Dennis Gross face wear pro mask that contains red light and blue light. This was over 400 pounds, I do like this device. This one doesn't contain blue light, but it contains red and infrared, which I believe penetrates the skin even deeper than red light. And then it also has a massage function. So I obviously have devices I use at home for massage, my nurse Jamie Uplift, which is about 50 pounds, not electronic. All my lovely Hayu Gua Sha, which was 38 pounds. And then I do have this electric stimulating device massage for under the eyes. This is their iris, which costs around a hundred pounds too. This device costs $429. If you spend more than $99 on the site, you will receive free shipping. And this is a Chinese company. This will be coming from China. So you will pay any import taxes or duties for your particular country. But I am interested in the fact that this is one device that contains a lot of technology with the potential to make multiple gadgets obsolete. I'm very intrigued. It is an investment in your skin. However, if it really does all those things that it says, it could work out being quite good value. This product um, has a five year life. For that price, you will also get the power adapter for your country included, as well as two of their hyaluronic acid essences, which they recommend you use in conjunction with the product to help those waves penetrate the skin. So without further ado, let's have a go with it. I just have a bare clean face this morning. Here is the device. This is in the shade Rose Fuchsia. Feels comfortable in the hand. It's that silicone type material. Very portable, very comfortable in the hand, but it has kind of a big area to treat the skin on the head so we get some instructions in here we get a card with the contact information and it says you get another free hyaluronic acid if you get in touch with them for one-to-one -one customer service that's pretty cool that's a nice little bonus there because of course you will have to keep purchasing this hyaluronic acid, I think you can use it with other products just to help with the glide, but this is obviously what the brand recommend. And this costs $20, so this would be an ongoing purchase if you were kind of using the device as advised by Compa. So here is, oh, it's the little shaver attachment. You have to have it plugged into the mains while you're using it, which I'm guessing because it's got such a lot of technology in one small device. 
stuff. This is kind of like a do it all, almost salon grade device. And I think so much technology packed in here, I can kind of understand why it does need mains power to operate. So it does come with the power adapter with hopefully my country's style of plug on. There we go. UK socket, then plug this into my power socket. And then I guess this is gonna go into my device. So it is a wired device. However, like I've explained, this claims to pack a serious punch. So I get that and I'm okay with it. It comes with an instruction guide. I got scared because it's all in Chinese at the front, Mandarin, but there is an English section for me. So this is the Compare Smart Skin device. I thought it was called Smart Skin when I first <laughs> glanced at the name, but it's called a Smart Skin. Multifunctional smart facial machine integrating radio frequency, electromagnetic stimulation, LED and vibration functions that get anti-aging results, lifting performance due to their high efficiency collaboration. Smart Skin is for anyone wanting to improve the condition of your skin and face and is suitable for most people. It's not suitable if you are pregnant due to the radio frequency in here, I believe. So you can use this all over the face except for around the eyes. It claims to improve wrinkles, tighten skin, and renew radiance of the face. I'm very excited. So it does have a clinical application. So radio frequency, Tightening is an aesthetic technique that uses RF frequency to heat the tissue and stimulate the production of new collagen and elastin in order to remodel the tissue and reduce the appearance of lines and loose skin. So the radio frequency waves are hopefully going to increase collagen in my skin, which will save me money on getting a high foo non-surgical facelift, which also uses ultrasound waves, I believe, to encourage your skin to produce its own collagen which we produce less of as we get older so if this can do the job at home i'm really impressed electromagnetic stimulation uses low electric currents passing through the skin to produce several therapeutic effects such as muscle toning in the body and micro lifting of the face so this is where it might kind of also do the job of those new face lifting trinity devices which you might have seen LED is a source of non-thermal skin rejuvenation because it can activate cells, especially the fibroblasts. LED treatment has been shown to be effective for improving wrinkles and skin laxity. So I think these instructions have been translated from Chinese, but into English, but I get the gist. There's an app that you use with this. It's the Comp Health app, which will analyze your skin health data to manage your skin health conditions and offers users defined skincare routines according to their personal skin type and preference. So that's cool. This will turn off if left idle for 60 seconds. So it's just showing us what all the buttons are in our guide. So these are the electrodes, this disc on the outside. There's a temperature sensor in the middle. LED therapy is around this rim here. This is our power button down at the bottom and it's got an up down button for intensity here this will light up to show which function we're using at what intensity i just want to use it i'm sure you guys just want me to use it too it comes with the hyaluronic essence, which we apply to our face. This product offers our skin water retention and helps the smart skin receive better effects. So it's a treatment and it's going to kind of amplify the results of using this. It sounds like their hyaluronic essence. So we are instructed to read the manual, which I have been doing. Clean and wipe face before operation and be sure to use the power adapter. Check, check, check. There's some contraindications here, which include if you've got epilepsy, if you've had recent surgery, if you've got any implants, defibrillators, if you've 
got implanted neurostimulator or pacemaker if you have any active cancer you shouldn't use this if you're pregnant you shouldn't use this those under 18 should not use this if you have metal braces you should not use this you shouldn't use if you have open or sore wounds you should not use if you are prone to rosacea or if you have problematic or sensitive skin it sounds like this is a pretty hardcore piece of machinery um so yeah please do take care when doing your research into if this is the right device for you and it can treat large surfaces of the face such as the jawline cheeks and forehead it's not for use around the eyes and we're advised not to use it on the lips either so we're going to avoid the eyes and the surrounding area and we are also going to avoid the lips so the first step is to apply the hyaluronic acid to the face it adds us to start with a moderate quantity and says we can add more product as the process goes on so let's have a look at this essence here we go this is what it looks like it claims to improve skin texture and brightness with intense moisturization and balance it's a hydrating facial moisturizer with pure hyaluronic acid serum formula anti-aging skin care properties to fill in diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles intended for use on dry skin fine lines wrinkles Ooh, enlarged pores, oily skin, sunspots, age spots, and uneven skin tone. It contains water, glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, amino acids, aloe extract, witch hazel, carbona, and phenoxalatol. We're advised to use this after cleansing and toning. Use within six months of opening. We all know what hyaluronic acid does by this stage. This is how the product looks. It comes in a sleek metal pipette. It's just clear. Oh, it does have kind of a slightly gel type formula, slightly thicker than hyaluronic acid serums I've used before. It's thicker than the Dr. Sturm hyaluronic acid serum, but not as thick as the Ordinary's. I'm going to add some more since it says to have a moderate amount. So I'm going to apply that to my face and neck. Can't really detect a scent. I'm not sure if this is actually essential to use in conjunction with the product. It sounds like any clear serum you could use with the right texture because this doesn't have any ingredients in that seems special to this product i'm sure it has been designed to work in conjunction with this but from the ingredients list i'm not sure that it would be absolutely essential that you use that serum in particular i am next advised to be sure the device is connected to the adapter hold this on for two seconds to turn on the device are you on and you can directly start your skincare process. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> it told me to slowly move your device onto the treatment area as above. Function indicators will indicate the automatic alteration of the operation. You can also manually skip the function by pressing the function switch button. I don't know where the function switch button is. Oh. It was kind of the on off button again which is then taking it to the light therapy okay i want to use the personalized program that it says it does for your skin so it sounds like you can use it right out of the box and it will take you through the functions you can also use the button to change the intensity of the function so that sounds quite easy so it will stop working once the treatment has been done and you can hold the power button for two seconds to turn the device off or it will turn off after one minute of disuse. It will gently heat up due to the technology in here and that is normal. But what I want to do, I want to use it with their app that is going to analyse my skin and I'll try and find the app in the app store. Okay, 
I found the Compa Health app in the App Store. I'm going to log in with my Apple ID. So that's signed me in. Okay, so it's brought up a little page just for me. So I am going to add the, it shows you all their products that you can choose from to pair with the phone. I am going to add the Smarkin and it's telling me to plug it in, which I've done, and I'm going to start pairing. So it's now searching for the device and has successfully paired with my phone. How cool. And it's telling me to click on skincare guide to start. So this is going to give me my personalized program. I am going to create my skin profile. So it's asking us about our skin properties. The basic skin test was performed by the renowned dermatologist. Dr. Leslie Bauman, summary of the 16 typing method is going to be used according to genetic factors, lifestyle habits, etc. to determine my basic skin type and it's recommended to do once a month. So it's not just the device, we're kind of getting information too here, which I think is cool. So first it's asking me about my skin firmness. Am I tight or am I wrinkled? We can also say, oh, it's asking me to test now. Do I have wrinkles? Yes, I do have a few wrinkles. It's given me four options and I'm just selecting the one that's most like my skin. How old does my mother's skin look? Do you know what? My mum looks really good for her age. So I'm going to say that my mum looks younger than her age. How does my dad's skin look? I also think he looks younger than his age. I wonder if they're going to watch this. How old did my grand, my mum's dad's skin look? I would say that he looked his age, as did my nana. Okay. I don't have that many memories of some of my grandparents, so this is a bit weird, but I'll go with it because they're just trying to find out about my genetic factors. How old do I look? I'm 38. What do you guys think? Some people tell me I look younger, so I'm going to say that I look younger than my age. At any time in your life, have you ever tanned your skin on an ongoing basis for more than two weeks per year? I've never used sunbeds and yeah, I'm going to say never. I do like to sunbathe on holiday with SPF, of course, but I haven't been on any lengthy holidays. At any time in your life, have you ever engaged in seasonal tanning? Yeah, I'm going to put yeah. For more than 10 years, I have engaged in seasonal tanning. Based on the places you've lived, how much daily sun exposure have you received? I live in England, so I'm going to say low. <laughs> so these are just questions it's taking me through on my phone. During the last five years, how often have you got tanned? Mm, not that much. It's only, it's giving me weird options. I'm going to say once a month for just occasional tanning. How often have you been on a tan bed? I've never been on a tan bed. How often do you smoke? Well, I did have that stage peer pressure in my teenage years. So I'll just say a few packs in my life. Please describe the air pollution in your residential city. This is very, very detailed. So um, Apple weather tells me the air quality in my city is bad, so I'm going to say heavily polluted. How often do you use tretinoin? I don't use tretinoin at the present time, so I'm going to say never. How often do you currently eat fruits and vegetables? Maybe not every meal, but I am going to say once a day. Over your lifetime, what percentage of your daily diet has consisted of fruits and vegetables? I'll say 25 to 75%. They ain't going to know everything about me by the end of this. What is my natural skin colour? Very light. What is your ethnicity? Caucasian. Okay, I've got my test results. And it's telling me that my skin is wrinkled. It's telling me that my skin elasticity is not ideal, that my face is prone to wrinkles, and that my neck is prone to sagging. So... That's a concern, but good job I've got this device, hey? Oh, wow. There's more questions. It's asking me about whether I'm dry or oily next. So I can just make the choice myself or I can use the questions to check if I'm not sure. Now, my skin, 
I know enough to say that it's slightly oily. I'm not going to do all of those questions. Got it. Skin tolerance. I'd say my skin is slightly tolerated because I use a lot of the actives. It's good that they have those other tests. Is my skin pigmented or non-pigmented? I'm not sure, so I'm going to do the test. Do you get dark spots due to acne or ingrowing hairs? Sometimes. How long do your dark scars take to fade? Months. How many dark spots did you have on your face when you were pregnant or taking hormonal contraception? There is an option if you've never been pregnant or taking hormonal contraception. I don't feel like I did get dark spots on my face. I'll say little. Have you had any dark spots on your upper cheeks or have you removed them? No, I don't have masses of dark spots. Will the sun make dark spots worse? I'm not sure. Have you ever been diagnosed with melasma? No. Did you have small brown spots? Freckles. I've had a few freckles. How do you feel when you are exposed to the sun after several months? Burns, then gets darker. How do you feel after high exposure for several days? Yeah, I would get burned and blistered. Do you have a history of melanoma? Not that I'm aware of. And do you have dark spots due to sun exposure? I don't think so. Okay, so my face is not pigmented according to this. So we've done the skin properties. Again, you can do this by just judging yourself, your texture, your oiliness, your skin tolerance or your skin pigment. However, there are in-depth questionnaires you can do. And I like that because it's thorough, I like detail. Right, now it's asking me to test the condition of my skin. Okay, so it's asking me to do the slider to match how many wrinkles I have. So you can go from severe wrinkles, I'll go kind of middle, eye area. This is quite fun. So, well, it's fun depending on how many wrinkles you have. I have just a few around my eyes. So I'm just using the scroller to, yeah, I do have the lines around my mouth. We adjust this face until it meets your level of wrinkling. Do I have wrinkles on my jawline? No, not really. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe it's coming to me later in life. Neck. <laughs> this is so funny. So you can go from deep wrinkles. I do. I do have a case of tech neck. Okay, so I've put in how many wrinkles I have on my face. So they're saying kind of slight or moderate wrinkles for me. They've judged those. This is kind of fun. Okay, next. Oh, next I'm setting up my skincare plan. So that's awesome. So it's asking me whether I want to do recommended according to my profile, regular skincare plan or a custom skincare plan. Um, custom sounds the most extra. So I'm going to choose custom and today's Saturday so I'll set it up by a Saturday you can also set a regular skincare reminder which is cool okay done okay it's got my plan I think I need to put a bit more of my hyaluronic acid on because it took me so long to do that questionnaire let's do the plan I don't know what's gonna happen next I'm really excited okay so it says, press here to start. Clean and dry your face. Oh. Apply HA essence over the electrode surface. Add oh. more HA essence as needed during skincare over the process. electrode surface, okay. Okay. So you put the essence on the device as well. You can rinse the head of this under the tap to clean it, but not the rest of the body because it's obviously got a lot of electronics in and you can't use alcohol to clean this device either, just to let you know, because it could get messy. I'll go with its recommended routine for me first. They say if you're using RF, use it a maximum of four times a week because it is quite powerful. Okay, so I've got the HA essence on my face, got it on the electrodes. I'm ready to go. The phone is clearly communicating with this. This is awesome. Go to next function, the forehead area. Move electrode head slowly in circles from between the eyebrows to the side of the forehead. Wow. It feels fine. It feels a bit strange. Feels kind of nice. 
So it takes you step by step for exactly what you need to do, which is really cool. The cheek area. Cheek. Press electrode head from the corner of the mouth to the wing of the nose along the direction of the nasolabial fold. The corner of the mouth to the wing of the nose. And I think this is doing all the treatments at once, which is really, really cool. This is the awakening and uplifting routine that I'm doing today. I'll do a different routine tomorrow. Move to the other side. And then I think when you start to feel it drag, that's the time when you add more hyaluronic acid. I like this. I'm just feeling a gentle heat. That must be from the radio frequency waves. The jaw area. Jaw area. Invert the device. Move Invert the electrode device. head from the chin to behind the ear along the jawline. I do feel like I'm having a fancy facial. It's showing me exactly what to do on the app, which Move is to so the cool. Other side. I do feel like I'm giving my skin a proper treatment in the comfort of my own home, which I'm loving. I think this could be an awesome part of your self-care routine. The neck area. Neck Press area. electrode head along the direction of the neck wrinkles. Mm, okay. I'm going to put some uh, hyaluronic acid on my neck really quickly. Obviously, this device is an investment, but if you spend a lot of time um, having high technology facials, you could actually save yourself a lot of cash. Move to the other side. Oh, sorry, lady. <laughs> It'll obviously take a bit of time to get in the swing off. I've just been doing my whole neck. I think adding the extra serum flustered me, but I guess as you do these routines on a daily basis, you'll get to know what's coming next. So far, I'm really liking this. This awakening and uplifting routine is just 3.4 minutes for me tonight. And then I think my routine tomorrow is seven minutes. Go to next function, the forehead area. Move electrode head slowly in circles from between the eyebrows to the side of the forehead. Now this is feeling nice and warm and soothing. Oh, this has gone on to the anti-wrinkle and repairing routine. It says if you feel too hot, move it away from your forehead. So it's giving me three routines in one night. So I guess you could choose your routine based upon how much time you have. They do have just generic routines that you can do. I've obviously gone for the most extra routine imaginable. The gentle warmth does feel really, really nice. The eye area. Close your eyes. Press electrode head from the inner corner of the eye to temple. Now, it obviously says, don't do this on your immediate eye area. So I'm going to take care not to go too close to the eye. I'm assuming it's telling me to close the eye because of the LED lights. Move to the other side. Now I'm starting to feel drag, so I do have the option to pause this and I am going to add more hyaluronic acid. So now I'm getting in the swing of things. You would go through this hyaluronic acid very quickly, just saying. So that's something to bear in mind. My face is going to be flooded with hyaluronic acid by the end of this treatment too, which can't be a bad thing. I love how you can pause to do a hyaluronic acid top up, which I definitely think will be needed. And then you can just hit play and start the routine again. So I'm still on my eye area. 
this is obviously quite a lot of effort that I'm going to. I think this whole routine is going to take about 12 minutes. So I guess when you put it that way, 12 minutes. The cheek area. Press electrode head from the corner of the mouth to the wing of the nose along the direction of the nasolabial fold. Oh yeah, I need some nasolabial fold action. I can't talk for this bit. Move to the other side. Other nasolabial fold. Keep my wrinkles even. Oh, it's getting warm now. Definitely do this in front of the TV. The jaw area. Invert the device. Move electrode head from the chin to behind the ear along the jawline. So as I was saying, I think this, you can put in as much or as little as you want. I didn't have to do this complex personalised skincare routine, but if you're going to be spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a skincare device, then you're probably into skincare. It's taken me a bit of time to get the hang of for the first time. The other side. But as you can see, I'm getting it. So I think this could fit into my nightly routine really nicely. My face is getting a little bit sticky because of all that hyaluronic acid serum I've piled on. However, I don't think I'd need to put any other actives on top of this after this routine. I won't be putting a retinol cream on to try and stimulate collagen when this device is stimulating my skin for the deepest, deepest layers down at the muscle, much more than I'm hoping any topical cream could do. So this is almost going to become... The, the full neck area. Press electrode head along the direction of the neck wrinkles. It's, it's my kind of full skincare solution. So other than the hyaluronic acid, oh, I'm, I need to just do one side at a time, don't I? Other than the hyaluronic acid serum, I, I yeah, I don't think I'd be spending a lot on creams trying to do what this does. If it's even going to brighten as well. I'm just thinking my whole world might be about to change because of this device because this is clinical level stuff oh it feels really warm and nice as well I think that's that radio frequency so yeah this could be game changing for me in my skincare routine and kind of rethinking the way I'm doing it there is a clinical trial that's been done on this i will link to the website below with really impressive results about how it increases the skin tightness decreases the amount of wrinkles Move to the other side and the depth of wrinkles and with all the technology in here i really believe that that's doing it obviously this is the only the first time i'm using this device i think i will enjoy using this on a nightly basis and I think I'm really going to get on with it but of course this is just the first impressions I will make future videos showing you how I'm getting on with this device in the long term if I'm getting on with this device in the long term will it just be a gimmick I really love how the app is guiding me through I feel like I'm doing something really good for my skin I am concerned about keeping looking as youthful as I can for as long as I can. And I think now I've got this piece of kit, I'm definitely going to keep using it. Go to next function. So I'm on the, the next. Area. Move electrode head over the skin in the direction from bottom to top of the forehead. This is the lifting and firming course now. So it's making me do slightly different movements. Oh, I'm going to pause and add hyaluronic acid. I mean, just drowning my skin in hyaluronic acid will be probably making my skin look plumper and giving it a lift. However, we know that the effects of hyaluronic acid are only temporary. But this really, I can feel it heating up, this device. It feels like it's definitely doing something for my skin. I'm getting into the groove of this. I've put my hyaluronic acid on, so I'll hit play on my routine now. 
and keep going with my forehead so they're making me do this lifting motion for the lifting and firming section whereas last time I was just doing the circles so I love the fact that it's going to give me a targeted skincare routine individually for each night of the week this is my new favorite toy thank you compare thank you vicky at compare i'm really enjoying this it feels very high tech and i think it is very high tech i haven't seen rf frequency in many of the skincare gadgets available in the uk this is obviously from china so i feel like this is kind of at the forefront eye area, eye area again your eyes. move electrode head slowly in circles from the inner corner circles. of the eye to the temple yeah kind of at the forefront of technology because this technology i've kind of only seen in in salon facials the other side so it's almost like having a salon treatment at home like I said, I'm not sure how strong the technology is in here compared to the stuff that you would find in salon. However, I feel like because you're doing this at home every day. The cheek area. Move electrode head over the skin from mouth corner to the temple. You do get those cumulative results over time. And I would rather invest in this rather than going back to the salon for expensive treatments time after time so again time will tell if i'm going to get any long-term benefits from this however i'm very hopeful and if you get lost it tells you exactly what you're supposed to be doing at any time the app is really really cool move to the other side move to the other side I think I've just got a couple of minutes left of my treatment and I'm a bit upset because I really enjoyed this. This could be fab to do in your me time in the evenings. It does seem like a rigmarole, roll, but really out of our day, what is 12 minutes, which is what this trio of treatments has been, 12 minutes to invest in our skin and invest in ourselves seems really reasonable to me and it's cool and enjoyable i bet my boyfriend will want to have a go with this the jaw area invert the device move electrode head from the chin to behind the ear along the jawline i'm getting into the swing of it now it's fun starting to drag a bit now and i'm thinking should i apply more serum but then i've only got one minute 46 left of my treatment to go it's telling me not to look at led lights directly just to put that out there and again that's telling me that the technology in here is kind of the real deal should i be wearing glasses i'm sure if i needed glasses there would have been included in the box move to the other side it tells you if it starts to feel too hot move it away from your skin but this hasn't felt too hot at all for me at any point in this they recommend you use at least five mils of hyaluronic acid for each treatment and apply to the probe we need to keep it smooth and moving, which it just about is now. But if I had more than 30 seconds left on this treatment, I'd probably be adding more serum to my face. So you are going to get through a ton of that serum. But like I said, maybe we won't be buying other face creams. I don't think I could give up my Augustinus Beta Lotion. So I need to think about that. I might have to use that in the morning times and this on the evening. Complete. I'm complete. It's turned off. I will Next now. Skincare time. Seven days later. Next skincare time, seven days later. So I think I did a week's worth of treatments in one session there, but you can obviously, oh wow, 
it's giving you a graph of the effects of what you've just done, telling you about the collagen, the elastin, what you've done. It's giving you all the stats and it's telling me to do again in a week. So once again, I think I accidentally selected a weekly mode, which is why it probably took so long. I wanna use this every day, but it's good to know that there is that option there. I'll play with this more. It obviously takes a bit of getting your head around because it's such a new technology with so many functions. How do you think I look? I think I look pretty glowy after that. So first impressions of the Comper Smart Skin is that I really like it and I think this is gonna be a great addition to my skincare routine. What do you guys think? Have you tried one? Would you like to try one after watching this video? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments and I'll catch you on the next video.